Hello. Um, let's talk about my sketchbook situation. I have sketchbooks that I've filled. I have sketchbooks that are empty. I have tiny sketchbooks. I have barely filled sketchbooks. I have sketchbooks I've almost finished. And I have sketchbooks that I've been working on for a number of years. And, um, I, I, I need to start finishing some more of them, I think. So yeah, here you can see me working on sketchbook number three. Um, I named them in the order that I start them, not the order that I finish them, so that's why I finished, like, 16 before I finished 3, and so on. So, yeah, I, I, the goal with this was to just fill it up, use fun color and, and mediums and not think about it too much, just be playful and focus on, yeah, just experimenting and filling it up with no pressure because that's what a sketchbook is it's like a a non-pressure kind of space here on the um first page i'm using a lot of paint and ink and pastel and charcoal and all sorts of things um yeah and it's not so much about the end result it's more about the process that's that's how i like to um to do my my practice is to think more about the process than the product. Um, although it is always nice to have a fun product to work with. Um, I did like a weird little dancing person on top of the uh, page on the left there. I don't know why. I just um, felt like it needed something. Yeah. Um, but you just gotta try stuff out, you know? Um, here I'm starting to use a lot more pastel. I've been using a lot more pastel um, in my practice because of university, obviously. I've um, had to experiment with different stuff, draw different subject matter. I've had to do a lot of like self-portraits and anatomy and that kind of thing, which I'm really not into. But you know, it's part of an assignment, so you gotta do it. So I've been using pastels and stuff to um, draw that kind of thing. Here I'm I'm definitely not doing any anatomy sort of stuff, I'm just doing sort of gestural color fields and focusing on line and shape and yeah, just uh, having fun with it. Have fun with it. That's, that's the main lesson here, I think, is um, doesn't matter, doesn't matter what it looks like as long as you have fun. But sometimes it can look cool too. Anyway, uh, so I did successfully fill up this sketchbook, sketchbook number three. So I'll probably have a um, tour of that coming out on the channel within the next few days or so. So if you want to check out that, it's, um, it's quite a disjointed not cohesive in the slightest sketchbook. Um, some of them are very, like, some of them show one time in my life and I have it for, like, the first semester of school or whatever. And it's very, like, you can see a progression and, and it's, the works kind of relate to each other, but in this one it's, like, over the span of two or three years and it's just a bit weird. <laughs> And, um, yeah, weird and disjointed, but still fun, so have a look out for that. That should be up soon. Um, yeah, you can see I have a lot of, like, Kandinsky sort of Picasso vibes, because I've been forced to, uh, look at, um, professional sort of, uh, artists in my art theory class, who I've never really looked at before, and that's really inspired some of this, I think. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later, goodbye.